This is Ministry of Rock video tutorial part 3. Before I continue with the bases in Ministry of Rock, I want to go into the browser and load a few sounds from some other play, play libraries. This is Fab Four, which is actually a, a fantastic complement to Ministry of Rock. And I'm just going to load up a, a base from that library. And then I'm going to go into Gypsy and load up a, an, an accordion. And then I'm going to go into Voices of Passion and load a patch from that library. And the reason I'm doing this, I want to show you Play, which is the engine which runs all these instruments. If I go back into the main window, whichever patch I choose from the ones I've loaded, the interface instantly morphs into the pr appropriate interface. But they're all running under the same engine, which is play. Now quite soon, your favorite East-West and Quantum Leap libraries will all be sitting here in the favorites folder because we're converting them all to play. So you'll have access to a, uh, a very large library of sounds all running under one engine. And what's so exciting about this is that play is 64-bit and because um, because it's 64-bit, you'll be able to access very large amounts of RAM and be able to load huge templates in one computer. So the dream of really running a large, uh, large palette of sounds on one computer is, is upon us. And also, because it's 64-bit and because we can see more memory, you'll be able to allocate more RAM towards streaming and, and get very, very good performance, much better than anything else available on the market. All right, so I'm going to continue with Ministry of Rock now and go on to the bases. I'm going to go into the bass folder and load up a Fender 5 string bass. You can see what's available down here in, in the articulations window and which key switches trigger what. And things like release trails are on a separate layer, so you can turn them on or off or change the volume here. What I'd like to do is just play back a simple line and mess around with channel sourcing. In the case of the basses, the left-hand channel is an Ashdown rig, and the right-hand channel is an Ampeg SVT rig. <laughs> You can hear I'm doing a bunch of key switching in there as well. I'm going to go into the browser and load up the Fender P-Bass.
All the bases in Ministry of Rock have up and down strokes and use round robin. And I'm going to play back a repetitive line with the P bass and really show off all the articulations with key switching. Go into the browser and load the Kabiki base. Now this was a, uh, a very popular base in the 80s in heavy metal bands, mostly just because of the way it looks. And I'm going to play a little bit with this base and mess with the mod wheel, which controls a filter. <laughs> Now you may have noticed some of the music in these Ministry of Rock tutorials has kind of an electronic element to it, and this is one of those bases that's good for that type of thing. So I'd like to show you an example of using these sounds with an external plugin. I'm going to turn on a distortion plugin and play a little bit with this bass. Okay, I'm going to load the Spectre bass. One thing I haven't talked about is legato detection. The basses have that as well. So if you look down here in the articulations window, you can see the third key switch is legato. And they have auto legato detection. So if you play connected, it finds the appropriate samples. And before I get into the bass a little bit more, I just want to tell you about a couple cool features in play, one of which is hiding in the main menu under the current instrument uh, selection, there's an advanced properties. And in there we have fine tuning and voice limiting. So a cool trick for the basses is to set the voice limit to one, use the sustain pedal, and just push it down and just play connected, or just play whatever you want to play. It, everything will sound connected, and it's especially good if you're playing repeated notes, because you'll get a perfect legato performance. And another cool feature is the velocity maximum. You can bring this down and exclude some of the loudest, most aggressive samples, if that's what you need for a particular piece. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit and show you the sounds of the Ashdown and Ampeg amplifier. <laughs> I'm going to conclude the Ministry of Rock tutorial with a little bit more a little more music created with Ministry of Rock.